Yo, what's going on, sexy Samuel? Let's get over here doing a ranked 1v1. I hope you guys enjoyed the little April Fool's joke we played on you, me, and Rexy, switching our videos up. I hope it caught a couple of you off guard at the very least. But, um, we're back with the normal videos. I'm playing Apollo. I don't know why. I just felt like playing Apollo. And I am going to go normal build like this and this. Uh, this person, Duels, or just Souls, or however you want to say his name, who is a soul, he passed, <clears throat> excuse me, he passed almost all of his bans. He only banned, I think, Bologna. I think he banned Bologna, and then he also banned Athena, but that doesn't count. But he passed four of his bans and banned Bologna, so. He's very confident in his soul. And I am not the best and most confident in my, uh, my Apollo. That being said, I'm hitting damn near everything. Very, very nice. I got his shell. I got his shell and, uh, didn't even have to use my own and got the kill. That's amazing. That is an amazing start to this game. I don't normally think Apollo should win this, but now that I have a lead, nothing's out of the ballpark. I do want to go get that XP camp though. I do not think I can afford to yet. I kind of want to put that extra point into my one, but I'm just going to put it in my alt anyways. Hmm. I feel like maybe he gave up just now, which is a little bit cringy considering the fact that he has higher MMR than me. I hate it when people just give up after the first death. Maybe we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. And he thought that I would back up. Because he is still playing. Maybe he thought that I would back up instead of step forward and go for the auto. I don't know. I mean, it's not normal to see people die like that, but then keep playing. So I guess he didn't give up. He just... Uh, miscalculated my my aggression I do want to dive but I have bell still oh my god my auto attacks are hitting so hard dude I'm actually doing so much damage I'm not going to use my pots here because I'm just going to clear and back This guy has higher MMR than me and is GM in Conquest. And is on Soul after b passing his bans. I don't think that he expected this. I don't think he expected to lose the level 3 fight, if I'm honest. That's probably what threw him off. Oh, my autos do a lot of damage, but I don't really have the option to hit him that much. Oh, I missed that. Damn, dude. I cannot believe I missed that. All right. You know what? Fair play. Fair play. I screwed up. Got no mana. I think what I'm going to do is just do his blue. I think I'm just doing his blue. He actually didn't give up. He just made one bad play, which is surprising. I really thought like... 
the way he was autoing me under tower, either he didn't think tower would hit him at that range, or he thought that I would be scared and, and back up. He is still playing. Not only that, he is still sold, so he's always got an option to just straight up win this game. I mean, you can't you can't really forget how good Souls late game is. Running over there, okay. Uh, he's gonna go Bancrofts. I want to go. I want to go into some defense. I also want anti heal. You might think that means that all oh, you just want to go pestilence, but not exactly. I can't hit any auto attacks. I'm horrible at video games. He really does not do very much damage at all. You're probably back in here, right? Exactly. Now, I'm kind of torn between going Pestilence, Shoguns, or Talisman. I think what I'm going to do is go Shoguns. And here's my reasoning. Talisman gives me 12% attack speed, 12% movement speed. Nice. Shoguns gives me 30% attack speed. And Pestilence gives me a bit of anti-heal. My theory was that I go Toxic Blade. That gives me 60% anti-heal, which is fine. Shoguns gives me the most amount of attack speed as well as some defense. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to utilize Shogun's attack speed and turn it into damage in the form of Silver Branch later in the build. That's kind of my goal. Will it work? Uh, almost certainly not, but we'll see. I mean, people don't really build Silver Branch and Duel anymore. I will say, I kind of wish I started with some life steal. I do way more damage than you can ever dream of doing. Me. Nice. Nice. He had life steal. He had a finish Bancrofts and used his shell and his ult. And I didn't use my ult on him. And I have no life steal, and I still killed him and still won the game. Good win. Good win. Plus 100 MMR on a good player playing soul. Oh no, only plus 16. Weird. Maybe he was prio queued. I don't know. Anyways, I guess I'll see you guys in the next game. What's up, boys? Back with game number two. I didn't expect this to go multiple games, but, you know, when you get a GM soul who decides he doesn't want to play anymore... All you got to do is play a second game. I guess I'll change my skin up. Bell Chanter. Of the age. He's got a cool skin. I like his skin. The, well, I don't like this, this skin. The hairstyle is a little weird, but I like the alt. I don't know. Why has he got all... He's got like uh, frosted tips. Like, <laughs> his hair is frosted tips. Wait a second. It actually is. All right, fighting a master's collie. Another not going to be easy game for me. I'm actually going to go gilded arrow. Actually, no, I lied. I lied. I So here's the thing. Here's, here's the thing. Gilded arrow is really good in the sense that... In the sense that it won't stop my mez. So... I can always just mez and run if I need to. However, Mannequins is great in the fact where I probably don't need to stop my mess. I don't think he wins this fight because... Well, one, he didn't jump fast enough. And uh, two, I don't think he wins that fight because of the fact that... Um... I stacked my mannequins on him early. Like I got three hits of mannequins before he even started hitting me. So his attack speed was pretty slow. Pretty slow. Time to move. 
Oh, he actually did get his blue in time. That's unfortunate for me. Three autos each is all it should take. Throw a fourth one in just for... Uh, posterity, I guess. Definitely never hit this. Nice. You don't win this. Nice. Nice. I knew he had meditation, and I knew, uh... I knew he had meditation. I knew that he was not completely capable of winning that fight. I had red buff. Sure, you might have a blue buff, but it's not even close to the red. So. Yeah, I am feeling pretty good, man. I'm feeling pretty good. Just beating down these, these great gods with Apollo. Maybe Apollo's a little bit, uh, a little bit underrated. He's got a nice kit. Is a I mean, his one has great clear. His two gives him protections against physical gods. Not to mention the transcendence may be pretty helpful here. Fortunately, I hit him like a ding dong, so now I have to wait. I do kind of want to see if I can force his ult. Nice. Nice. Forcing the ult was literally all I wanted out of that. It takes me forever to clear without my my ability, though. Wonder, does he have Golden Blade now? No, still tier two. I wonder if he's first item stone cutting. Honestly, some people are doing that now. It's not bad. You do a lot of damage. Kali doesn't necessarily need help with the clear. But with no alt, you're definitely not looking like uh, a prime suspect to kill me in any fight. You are much more looking like uh, a freebie. <laughs> you got to just sit there and let me do what I want at the moment. Although I will say that back means either golden blade or stone cutting form. It also means for me that I'm going to get another round of two buffs and an XP camp. Hopefully he actually got golden blade. So I think what I'm going to do because it's a golden blade he jumps the wall to blue. I want to try to actually steal that blue. Oh, I missed all those autos. Doesn't really matter. I wasn't going for the kill. I just wanted the blue, but the kill would have been the icing on the cake. Oh well. Oh. Shed light he met on the darkness. He met it and walked back over here. We thought that with his alt coming up he could take me on. I don't know. I do have a lot of gold in hand, which is pretty bad. It's really bad to have gold in hand like what I have right now when your I when your first item is going to be a stacking item. Cuz that means all of this extra farm that I've gotten with this money in hand, I could have been stacking my transcendence with. Oh, you're dead. You're not dead. Wow. Okay. Consider me surprised. I really expected you to be dead there. Um, I'm actually going to go Aussie here instead of the fence. The main reason is because I'm already so far ahead and my two is giving me a little bit of protection. So I'm going to try to just ride with that for a second. At least for the like early to mid game. Like while the Mez doesn't actually work. At least I get the guaranteed protection of it, which is really nice. Oh, he actually backed. Definitely going to lose tower here. Going Berserker Shield, it looks like, which means... No 
Oh man, look at that damage. Could be guaranteed dead here. He had balls of steel and he held his jump forever. The balls of steel. Oh. I don't know. I really want Aussie, but and I feel like maybe I should just go Xy. Oh. You're here instead of going to red buff, dude? What the heck was that, man? What the heck was that? You could have gotten red, you could have gone to Bull Demon, you could have gotten to your blue buff. You just sat there and waited for Wave to come? And then didn't alt my my damage? The heck? I do not understand that play at all. Weird. Doing this blue. Want to. You're a little scared though. Jesus, I didn't miss a single auto. I did not miss a single auto during that fight. He's holding his ult though a little bit too long. Just a tad greedy with it. But I've said this before and I'll say it again. Being greedy with Kali ult isn't a bad thing. I think, I mean, obviously being that greedy with it to the point where you never get it off is bad, but... Um... That's one of the abilities in the game where you actually kind of have to be greedy about it. I'll grab this. And I'm going to go into Witchblade to slow his attack speed. I'm going to go into Horrific to slow his attack speed. And just make sure that this Kali doesn't really have any fun today. Kind of my goal. You're dealing with fire minions. So that's rough. Yeah, my one and two autos first hit for over 600 damage. I'm level 15 and he's level 9. What the hell? I used, uh, I used my two and my three there to gain distance or just keep control over the, the fight. And obviously my horrific too. I don't know if I said that. I just think I said my two and my three, but is my two, three and my horrific to gain control over the fight. Force his alt out. It is very hard for him to deal with me at the moment. He must have finished his Berserker Shield. He actually did because he's kind of tanky now. And that's game before the 10 minute mark, man. 9.48. Actual full game. I don't know. Maybe Apollo is just my, my guy at the moment. Maybe I'm just good at the level 3 fights with Apollo. I don't know. What I do know is uh, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, until next time, guys. Peace.